So Lou has still not crossed 10,000 subscribers. As a matter of fact, he hasn't even crossed 7,000 subscribers. He's somewhere a little over 6,000 subscribers. Um, he still has not crossed 1 million views. He's somewhere around like 700 and I think 20,000 views. Um, you have to understand this guy had over 80,000 subscribers. Where did they all go? Did they vanish? See, this is what I'm trying to understand. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Something is rotten in Denmark. I mean, when you have that type of subscribers, 80,000 subscribers, and he actually has the same channel name that he, that he had before. See, at first I thought, all right, he had this new channel name. It was Behind the Streets. So I said to myself, a lot of his subscribers can't find him. They can't find him. But now he has the same exact channel name, the YouTube channel name he had before. There's no logical reason why Lou doesn't at least have half his subscribers back at this point. Because it's the same channel name. It's the same channel name. He should at least have 40,000 subscribers. So don't you see there's really something weird about that? There's something weird about that, that this guy only has a little over 6,000 subscribers. There's something weird. I don't know if he was buying his subscribers. I, I, all I can tell you, I'll say it's alleged, but all I can tell you is it doesn't make any sense why this guy has the same exact channel name as he had before and doesn't have at least half. He should have more than half of his subscribers. I'm saying at least, at least half, at least 40,000 subscribers. The guy's got a little, a little over 6,000 subs, so... Something is obviously rotten in Denmark, but obviously everything is rotten in Denmark with Lou. <laughs> Shouldn't really be surprised. The video is not financial advice, not a financial planner. It's not legal advice. I'm not an attorney. This video and all my videos are for entertainment purposes only.